Hello, hello, hello! This is part two of my second Minecraft video. So, is this my third? I guess. Um, a bit more wandering around and showing off uh, my domain. Showing you how to do a couple things I've learned. Um, and please, as always, feel free to comment. And let me know what you'd like to see more of. And uh, to risk being a bit of an attention whore, um, feel free to hit like. Um, that tends to move the videos up on the uh, up on the, the list so more folks can see it. While we're out and about, and because I need more wool, I take a walk down this sandstone road I built. There's the uh, the reed gate. I found um, a huge complex of caves that were just vast. Uh, I I spent days and days in them, partly because I was lost and partly because I just kept finding so much stuff. I set up a base camp uh, outside. Uh, and then had a hard time finding my way home. <laughs> so, since there's still a lot to be done in that particular cave system, that mine, decided I'd find a way to mark it so I could find my way to and from. And the first thing I did was the, uh, you see the, the tall, thin pillars ahead? It's essentially just a pile of sand with a torch on it. It's visible for some distance, but not across mountains. Um, but that helped me find it, and then once I found it, I used my compass to find a straight line back to home base, and then I built a road. Call it the redstone mine because, well, that's what I seem to find most. And I've still got the uh, the chest, the furnace, and the workbench here. At some point, I'm going to come back and do another sort of marathon mining. I've finished the outside. Inside, it's it's a really oh. complex series of caves, and and I already fell down. There are three branches right right from the outset. And I I got lost. So lost. Um, I developed a system. And then later I read about other people who do a similar thing. Um, while I'm going into new territory, I put the torches on the left. That way, uh, when I'm lost, I know that if the torches are on the right, I'm headed back toward the entrance. Of course, this cave is complex, and there are loops and 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 rooms so big they have to be lit on more than one side. Um, but that basic setup will uh, will work. Now, aside from showing off, the other reason I'm out here is because at night, uh, the friendly mobs only spawn where there's light, and out here, the only light is right here. Back at uh, back at the manse, there's a lot of lit area, uh, but if say in this acre, a hundred sheep are going to spawn, they've all got to spawn right here. And so it seems like flocks and flocks of sheep like my road. The um. At the end of this little road is what I call the lagoon. It's dark. Uh, when the sun comes up, you can see it better. But um, in addition to being attractive to sheep, it's a, a pretty little spot, a little bowl with a little, little round pool in it. You know, I, I know it's a game, but it, it, you know, first time I saw it, it, it my thought was this was a, a, a beautif beautiful piece of nature. I didn't want to touch it, but I did want to be able to find it. So I built a road right to the edge of the bowl. Oh, since then, I've found lots and lots of beautiful places. I've done more exploring. Um, 
but I still have a fondness for this. Um, but it, you know, it should have something more than it does, I think. And that's probably just me being a uh, conceited human. Again, we're not really dealing with nature, but it's sort of in the style of nature, I guess. Look at this bucket of water. I might throw a waterfall in. Way easier to do in Minecraft than in real life, although other things can be harder. Just get to the top of that mountain. See the moon? That's actually taken from an album cover. Um, Crystal Method. I don't remember the name of the album. Reduced to 16-bit, it's kind of homely, but... Oh, oh sheep. Oh. Okay, I'm so used to playing on Peaceful when I'm you know, uh, doing most of the construction that I fall off things a little too easily. And someday I'll be playing on regular and I'll fall down and break my fool neck. So you, you can fall far enough to die uh, in, even in peaceful mode. You just have to go really far. I did it. So... I like the way water lights up in this game. This little divot and drop the water. And we'll see what happens. This sort of thing is also easier to reverse in Minecraft than in real life. So I'll ride it down. Hmm. So dark, folks. Nights are short in Minecraft, but... But, nothing. I just trailed off there. I think we'll uh, build a little catch basin for the waterfall. At least for now, we'll do it with turf. New favorite building material. It's cheap, it's plentiful. Cheap. You can pound it out of the ground with your fists. soon. Right, we'll just clear out this brick I accidentally laid in. For the uh, dim light, I guess it looked a bit like dirt. Break out the crappy parts. Make a nice little square pool.
fairly strong current here. I think I may make it a still pool. As I did with the, uh... Irrigation ditches in the garden. Notice reviewing my videos, I sound a bit like Bob Ross. Just a happy little tree over here. Ever watch Bob Ross? I think he's still around in syndication on NPR. This goofy hippie guy with a big old afro. Great painter. Mostly did landscapes. Just a few brush strokes. Great, you know, pretty impressive stuff. There, still water. But he had this way of talking. Alright, I think that's quite nice. Let's see if I can get back up to the top. It's getting brighter, looks like the sun may be coming up. Whee! Yes, we have daylight. I think that's a, a, a good use of the uh, lagoon for now. I was thinking of maybe making a little uh, kind of a, a spout, I guess, for the uh, top of the spring. But for now, I think I'll uh, let it stand. Hmm, not really happy with that corner sticking into the pool. may have to be one of those projects I'll leave aside for the moment. Ugly. Oh, pigs. And now that it's no longer getting dim, we can get a good view of the outside of the turf fence. I might want to try... For now, we'll leave it as it is. And in through the reeds, up over the slab. Maybe plant a few more trees around the edge. And inside that fence, I have an idea I'm going to do, I don't know, maybe a maze or some turf art, like the like the white horses cut into the hillsides in, in England. I haven't decided yet, so that I visit often, look over the flat pasture, and I don't know, I could do a corn maze with wheat. I'd have to properly fence it off to keep the, uh, the critters out, and leave no exposed turf, which would be a problem. I haven't even been over in that part for a while. I'm so pleased with this bridge. It's, it's just, I think it turned out perfectly. I'd like to expand the water under it. Because right now it's just this little pool that's mostly frozen over. And I can make it into running water. And we're back to the little outdoor workshop. I do this with all of my major building projects. I'll, I'll bring a bed, a chest or two, crafting table, furnace. <laughs> Going back and forth is just a pain in the butt. Especially here, where I generate so much dirt, cobblestone, and this and that just in the process of um, doing the building. It's not a good idea to wander around with quite so much inventory. If I die, I might lose it. I might not be able to get back in time. So I've got this runner rug going around the outside of uh, this room. snow all over the place from before I had the roof on. It hasn't snowed in a while. It's one of those tedious tasks. I just do a few at a time when I pass through. It'll eventually get all done. There's my dirt bunk. Remember from the last video?
jumping thing. I've seen videos where people do whole walls where they just sort of hop up in place and I just don't seem to have that skill. It's probably related to my loathing of jumping puzzles. There are quite a few interesting adventure maps for uh, Minecraft that users have made. Fascinating stuff. This big long gallery. I have some beds in here too. Again, I'm not sure if this is gonna stay a dorm. It's big space. It may wind up being more than one room. Eventually I'll just sort of have to sit down and choose. This is a dorm. This is a kitchen. This is um, a torture room. I don't know. Like the temple, it was originally intended to be kind of dark and spooky, but I, I seem to not do dark and spooky in my building. I'm planning to build some ruins nearby. I don't think there's any way to make those bright and friendly. And we have this long runner carpet here. This is a gallery very like the one downstairs. But I've split this one. Finish this runner rug because I found a lot of black sheep on that last voyage. I I have flower dyes, but I've only got red and yellow. So uh, I have some coffee beans too. But for the most part, I just build carpet with what I find. Now this big open space, I'm not sure what I want to do. It might call for a rug. The uh, the pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns I have um, embedded in the walls like that one, which with the texture pack modification I've done don't look at all like jack-o'-lanterns. They light the space nicely. But sometimes it seems like they need something around them. This floor I haven't finished yet. Obviously. Uh, this section is going to be a tower. I've actually forced myself to finish off the tops of some of the sections. So you've got that, that big glassy room is finished off. There's no way to put something on top of it. And the uh, the gallery and the library both have a peaked roof. This is going to be a tower. And however many floors it is, I don't know. As it is, it's high enough that the clouds kind of get in the way. slash ceiling. Let's make some proper steps here. I think I'm going to try something I've been wanting to try for some time. Never actually did it. Stone slabs for stairs. Let's see. Do I want to put a block under it? No, I think I'll do floating stairs. Getting dark again. give you guys a break and not do a whole lot in the dark this time. There are floating stairs. And I also sort of demonstrated how you how, how you have to work with the slabs. You can't just place them anywhere. You can't connect them beside or under things. Um, they're going to be sitting on top of something, but they will stay there once you remove the support. Uh, Jack-o'-lanterns are the same. Um, stone stairs Stairs might be the same. I'm not sure. It's getting kind of dim. I think we'll do a double wide stair. When I put the video together, I may brighten this section. The, um, I'm just using Windows Movie Maker because that's, that's what I got. It's not great, but it will do a few basic things like brighten a section and speed things up, slow things down, crossfade. And I'm not doing this on my own computer because my own computer barfs if I try to make a movie longer than about four minutes. It's working so hard it'll overheat and crash. The uh, little fan inside sounds like a jet engine right before it goes. There's that moon. 
kind of growing on me. What do you think? I think that's a lovely set of stairs. I'm really pleased with that. I think I'll probably use that method for the rest of the tower. Block that in? Leave it? Yeah. So I've got sort of different kinds of stairs at each floor. Since this is the top floor for the rest of the building, it's just the tower. You need stairs here. have them sort of spiral around the inside of the tower. And put some more floor in. I'll speed this part up as well. I think I want to lay in a tree. Yard, and I want to do uh, three by three, so there's a center square, and I'll probably put flowers around it once the the grass grows in. I have a really hard time sometimes eyeballing the center of things. That's why a lot of the things I make aren't symmetrical make them balance, however. Um, look at a bit of graphic design background, and asymmetrical but balanced is, is something I strive for. I like it. I think it's more interesting. And that will be a tree one day. Suppose we should box that in. Um, it's not as big as I thought it was when I was making it. Fortunately, we've got plenty of bricks. I played in this world for a long time, thinking there were no bricks anywhere. And then when I changed textures, I made the bricks sort of more significantly different from the sand, so I could spot them from a distance, and I realized that was clay all over the place that I could bake into bricks. Yeah, that's nice. The corners out, um, so it's still fully enclosed, but it saves four brick blocks, and it's a, a place where I can, I don't know, put a light in or something. Needs something more. I have an idea. It's not a new idea. It's something I've done elsewhere. I guess in the asylum, this would be where the high-functioning patients could come, and it'll be a, a bright, cheery space. My hope is to at some point decide that it's done, or done enough. See what I'm doing there? Talked about it, now you see how it's done quite simple. I'd like to uh, open this up for other people to roam around in once it's done. I seem to be making a much bigger project than I originally imagined. That's kind of a lovely fountain, I guess. I like the moon behind it. But I'd like to light it up, and I think I have an idea. It's a crazy idea, but it just might we park a light right above the fountain. I don't generally make things that float in midair. I sometimes have a hard time making scaffolding because it's difficult to make steps going down you have a 
like a wall against which to, to place your blocks. And I've fallen and failed enough that I realize that being stingy with my dirt blocks just makes it harder than necessary. Now, I need to place a block, and it needs to be attached to something, and I think my dirt scaffolding is one away. This is uh, glowstone by the way. I, uh, I made it green. There's more than one color palette in the nether. There. It's the only glowstone block I have. They're such a pain to harvest. I don't think they're worth it. The uh, jack-o'-lanterns I like, too, and they're easier to harvest, but not particularly easier to find. A little on the rare side. I try to be very good about taking my scaffolding down. Oh. That was a lot of scaffolding. Steve has a long reach. Steve, if you don't know, is the name of the character model. Essentially, Steve is what you're playing. You're playing Steve. Now, I've modified mine ugh, a little bit. Really, I just sort of opened it in the GIMP and uh, opened the hue saturation. Oh, that didn't work. The, uh, the hue saturation dialog and dragged it over until it was kind of a blue green color. When I do that. I'm gonna have to This is so not the most efficient way to do this. Yeah. And daylight's coming. Huzzah! Yeah. It's kind of a nice little courtyard feature thing we go in there, particularly once that tree grows in. Hey, it's snowing! Great. <laughs> And now it's raining. Oh. So I know this, uh, this building's right on the edge between snow and rain. I wonder if maybe I should uh, mark it where the boundary is. Okay, having the rain coming in there is going to bug me. So we're going to put a little uh, lip over the top of the... Uh, the the ladder hole. This will be the last task of the day. Video is going on thirty five minutes. I might trim some stuff out. It's fairly long. The other one was what twenty five minutes. So yeah, about an hour total. if my connection on YouTube will be sufficiently um, able to support the upload. <laughs> and other useful wooden slabs. I think they're pretty. Of course at some point I'm going to turn off peaceful, but for now it's, it's, I'm just creating complex enough stuff that I, I really don't want a creeper to sneak up on me and blow it up. If I go off peaceful, it's going to be when I'm out roaming or working on something a bit sturdier. It's 
suppose I could just leave it floating there. works. Uh, at some point I'm going to make another big chandelier and I'll definitely put that on video because that can be quite a project. <coughs> there, just like that. the side so they're not hovering over the poles. Um. What for now, that's it. Well, this is Gix. Thank you for watching. As always, comment. Give me a thumbs up if you want. We'll just sort of pause and watch this sunset. And next visit, we'll have some other things. And I'm actually hoping to have some comments from you about what you'd like to see me do. Good night.